Good morning traders. This is Marco. We have Sunday. Markets are closed, but many of you have asked what we are doing before a new week starts. So I wanted to show and demonstrate you pretty much my routine, what I'm doing every Sunday after I'm getting up and um, want to show you what I'm doing and checking for the week, for the new week. And yeah, maybe we can do this on a weekly basis. Um, not sure if I find time for it, but when I have time, I will do it and it will last like five minutes. So it's easy to check and for you, maybe it gives some value that you have an overall context of the market. You can see this downtrend here started in mid of August and it was trending lower here. We had a break of this downtrend and a couple legs to a new low and we found some good support here at the 3589 um, yeah, 90 level depending on how you draw it and from here prices could not go lower and we found some support and prices were forming a shorter term uptrend and this uptrend um, I was finding by taking this low here going for the first touch then I saw okay the channel is progressing we have another swing here so I in extended the channel um, then the same situation here we had another uh, swing here so I, I extended the channel one more time and then I had this channel here it's fitting of the highs it's fitting of the lows with daily price action is not that exact as the um, intraday what we are trading on the 2000 tick chart because uh, yeah there are much more swings and um, so price action is not that clear here as uh, in 2000 tick charts but you can see that the structure counts and the structure is valid from this shorter term uptrend working higher we had a break and a retest of the highs you can see this last candle here that was from uh, Thursday when uh, the CPI data came out and you can see from the size of this candle pretty much all the days before uh, were like invalid after that so this size of the candle was so strong and bullish that we made the retest pretty much in one candle so this channel here this uptrend channel here played out and we retested the highs we made we made even new highs and if you check this like bands here you can see whenever prices are on the upper level of the bands so this brown line here or this violet line we see a bounce back to like in the middle of this uh, area you can see here touch here so we're coming back to the middle touch here coming back to the middle touch here coming back to the middle and now we're way overbought that's that means we like extended this channels by far so the next consequent um, action would be that we are coming back inside this area back to the midline and since we are so overbought there's a high potential that we see a bounce back within the next days uh, that can be a news event that can be normal price action usually i'm not counting news too much importance because uh yeah they write the news to fit the price action i think you heard this many times also from mac already and price action is telling me this uptrend channel here had to break a new high so it played out and whenever a channel played out there is a potential of a reversal so we can see a bounce back here so if you pulled up your trades uh, listen to that and be aware of that I mean of course we can trend much higher from here for example how we did it like here for example we were touching the lower line but bounced back then another attempt lower and we were overextending overselling here and that kept for a couple of days so the bounce back to the to this like middle area 
didn't happen for a while. So we stayed a couple of days uh, below this lower line here and then we bounced back. The, the same could happen here. Of course, I don't know this. I cannot look into the future, but most likely at some point when we are like oversold here, we bounce back or when we are overbought here, we bounce back. So you can expect a, a correction pretty soon. I was saying that I was not putting too much importance to news. However, I'm checking every week important uh, news releases for the week. And for Tuesday, you can see we have the PPI, core PPI, that also gives some impact. You can see when it's coloring in red. Um, the Fed is taking this measurement uh, regarding inflation, so it could have some reaction to the markets. Then very important on Wednesday with the core retail sales and retail sales in general. Um, this is also very important measurement to see the buying power of people, to see if inflation is hitting the people. So watch out for this news event and they're like, many yellow events, some FOMC member is speaking. Usually there are like no big breaking news. And uh, yeah, on Thursday we have one more event. Also the unemployment claims. This is always important to see because if unemployment uh, claims are going higher, this is a measurement for the Fed to um, pivot and uh, to stop uh, raising interest rates but yeah in general have a look on tuesday wednesday and thursday for the news events um, but coming back to price action yeah i would say we see some little correction and then maybe some range mode or we find a bigger structure that can maybe look like this you can see but also here we would see a correction to the midline and maybe some support here and going higher from there. So yeah, have a look at this. I hope this helps you. Um, I can try to do this every week. Um, and when something very important is happening, happening in the meantime. But yeah, I wish you good trading for the week and a good weekend for on this Sunday and speak to you next week.